I look like a literal floating head in this lighting. It is dark in the UK, no surprise. <laughs> but I guess let's just go for it. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a lot of plant tours to do. I have been away. You probably know that by now if you've watched any of my videos in the last two videos. Um, but I've been away and my plants need some care because it's been three weeks. And so I thought I would bring you along with me. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't watered them since I got home and it's been nearly a week. And they hadn't been watered for a week and a half before that, so I'm doing a really good job being a plant parent. <laughs> um, I've just, like, jet lag kills me, so. I have a lot of plant tours to do, watering, things to work on. I don't have the predatory insects yet for this cabinet, but I feel like I have a lot to do and I really don't know what order I want to do it in, so I figured I would just set the camera up and see where this video takes me. So, <laughs> it'll probably end up being a long one just because I have a lot of stuff to do and I like sharing it with you. And so if you want to join me in plant chores, grab your watering can or just like a cup of tea or something and hang out. Or an alcoholic beverage if you're watching this in the evening. Have a glass of wine or something. Um, but yeah, just gonna hang out with you for a little while while I do my plant chores because it'll motivate me to actually do them well instead of um, not. So yeah, um, before we get into it, if you don't know me already, Hi, my name is Emma and I make houseplanty content all over the internet. So if you want to follow along with my houseplanty journey and maybe learn something along the way, stick around, watch some more of my videos and subscribe to my channel. If you're not new here, thanks for coming back. Let's just get into these plant chores. So I think I'm gonna start with pest treating. I was gonna just water these in situ, but I think it would be wise to wipe down all of their leaves because there's adult thrips on here and I don't know which plants are affected and which ones aren't, I think I'm just going to go in with a neem oil solution, bring these all to the bathtub and like properly go through them, rinse them off, like soak them or shower them off so they get watered and then wipe their leaves with some neem oil solution. I think that's where my brain is telling me to go first. But it's going to be a bit of a big job because there's a lot of plants in this cabinet and I think a lot of them have pests, so... Joy of joys, let's go! And this will also be good for the moss poles that are in there because they're not fully dry. They're not as dry as some of the other ones that I have because they're in the cabinet so they don't get as much like airflow. Not in a bad way, in a good way. And so I can properly rinse them as well and hopefully give them a good soaking. Hard to snap. That's sad. At least it wasn't the newest leaf, but that is not ideal. So I find this super unusual. So this whole section had adult thrips in it, and typically my syngoniums seem fairly prone to pests. I think it's because they've got quite thin leaves. But this strawberry milk doesn't have any thrips on it at all. And it was right next to the monochrysum, which I know has thrips on it. So I I don't know. Maybe these are a different brand of thrips than what I'm used to. A different brand, a different type. Anyways, I'm not excited about this. <laughs> I 
think these are probably ready to pot up anyways. So I guess I'll probably take them out when I'm done. And then the last is the Warakuyanum, which I'm pretty sure doesn't have herbs on it. No herbs. Oh my gosh. The roots on anthuriums, man, they just go crazy. I mean, I hope it's happy enough because it's not grown anything in this entire time. So maybe I'll repot it or I just need to give it more fertilizer. I'm not sure. But anyways, that's the bottom half emptied. I think I'm going to have to do the top half later today just because the bathtub is nearly full at this point. So let's go to the bathroom and we can start treating the plants. So I think I'm gonna go in first with the shower head and get them all watered because I don't wanna rinse off the new oil solution which I'm going to use afterwards on the leaves to like unpest them. Hopefully this works well enough. I i don't know, I'm still waiting for my predatory bugs. So for now, it's just gonna to have to be this. I can put my neem oil recipe somewhere on the screen or in the description. Um, I've been using this recipe for like five years at this point. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Um, and I find that it works pretty well. I wouldn't use it as the only thing to treat the rapes, but as like part of something or while you're waiting for something else, I think it works really well. And the good thing about neem oil is it doesn't harm good bugs. It only harms the bad bugs that are like eating your plants. So it's good. <laughs> That's what we want. So I let's get in and start spraying. Oh, I'm also gonna wipe the neem oil with microfiber gloves. I would normally use like a sponge or a microfiber towel, but since a lot of these plants have quite small leaves, I think using the gloves will be easier just to get into like the small nooks and crannies and stuff to make sure it's really getting in there and hopefully helping the plants, Sss, plants. Um, and I mean, that's what they're good for. I've got a pair for just dusting and this will be my pair for past treating neem oil business. So let's go. Um, soil wise. I didn't spray the pond really because it's pond and it's had a water reservoir that hasn't emptied out this whole time so it's already hydrated. But now I'm going to go in with my neem and oh, start doing these leaves. Oh gosh, this feels like an absolute mission to do and I'm not excited for it. while this is empty I should probably clean up all of my cabinet so this is all diatomaceous earth that I was using for fungus gnats but like it just drips down when I overwater things not overwater when I water things too thoroughly and they like spill out and it's kind of gross looking so I should probably clean it um, and I'll move all these for the time being because I will continue to use them until the other and then after the other predator mites come as well so let's clean I guess Ugh, that's the least fun thing of plant care cleaning <laughs> That looks much nicer, very clean. 
I really think though, I wish I had done this from the start, put like shelf liners or something on the metal because you can see how scratched up it just gets from like pots moving around and all of that. So I, I kind of wish I'd put shelf liner on to like protect it from the start just because then it would like last a little bit longer. But yeah, feeling much cleaner and I'll do the top when I do the top but I need to let the other ones dry off for a little bit before I put them back in here. Otherwise, I'm just gonna negate basically everything I've done by putting wet stuff back in the cabinet. Okay, so I'm in the kitchen because I'm going to water my cacti and succulents in pond. And I was thinking about it and I've never watered them with fertilizer, so I should probably try to do that. But obviously, because it doesn't sit in a water reservoir where like when would I put it in and I don't want to waste fertilizer by like just putting it in and letting it drain so I think I'm gonna leave it in this container kind of pour it over all of them and like let them sit for five ten minutes just to soak up the fertilizer water and then let them drain out not put any like sink water in them I think that's what makes the most sense to me for the most part these are doing really really well everything except for my um little succulent here, put these down. This little succulent, I have no idea why this has happened, but it has only lost the leaves on one side of it. Like all of these are sturdy on there, like not coming off. But then this one, sorry, <laughs> but then this one, like you can see the stem is kind of rotted off there. And so it's kind of like a little <laughs> half succulent, um, which is kind of annoying. I don't know why it's done that, but it has, so we're just gonna roll with it, I guess. Let's put this back and give these a water. everything soak just like not for very long just very very short and then carry on and then I can do the ones that aren't in this little tray I've got another Tupperware that I can use Anything that doesn't get soaked up, I can put back in the watering can and reuse it. So I'm not like wasting the fertilizer water. And these don't have any pests, so it should be completely fine. So I'm just gonna leave this for now. And oh, I guess I'll water the big one in its pot. let that soak as well. Set a timer for five minutes. Hopefully that's enough time. I've got no idea. Okay, so it's been five minutes and it looks like these are quite soaked up. They might not be totally, but I think it should be fine. So I'm just gonna take them out of this water and put them on the draining board to dry out for a little bit, let them drip dry. And then I can use this water again to uh, fertilize some more plants, just so I don't waste it. I always feel too guilty wasting fertilizer water because it's like liquid gold leaf. <laughs> um, I, don't, I mean, I guess that's why they named it that, isn't it? Um, but yeah, let's just drip these all out. this one for a little bit longer because it's so much bigger. Needs more time to soak. 
While I let that soak, I made myself a cup of tea using my new brew tea subscription. Basically, you do a quiz online to share with them what sort of teas you like, and they'll send you three new ones every month and a surprise tea for you to try as well. I tried the Chalky Chai flavor here because I was feeling nostalgic about India and the chai tea there was amazing. And this seriously compared. It was so freaking delicious. Oh, that's a good tea. <laughs> water the rest of my plants and I'm actually going to fertilize them as well which is exciting. I kind of stopped fertilizing in November time because I was um I was doing the mosquito bit tea often and for some reason my brain was like you can't mix things. I mean I probably could and it probably wouldn't have been an issue. I don't know that. Do your research before you do that. Um but I just stopped fertilizing. And my plants have still been growing, um, I think because I have quite an artificial environment, quite warm, quite light because of all the grow lights and stuff. My plants don't really have too, too much of a winter. It slowed down a bit, I think, just because of the hours of light in the day is decreased just because of the outside. So, like, they have still been growing just a bit slower. So I think I'm going to start fertilizing again, which is exciting. I'm very excited to start fertilizing again because... I know my plants love it and I think it would really help them because I, like, I, they're still growing, they're just not growing quite as well. And so let's get that fertilizer in there. So the fertilizer I always use, this is kind of just a sample small bottle, is liquid gold leaf fertilizer. And I've been using this again for years as well. I really, really, really love this stuff. And it's actually really good for your um, soil microbiome, whereas a lot of other fertilizers, they like destroy your soil microbiome. Liquid gold leaf doesn't, so it's it's great. It, it's safe for soil and it's good stuff. I really like it. I ran out of my big bottle, so I'm using my little tester bottle. I think I got this at the plant swap or something. Um, but I am an affiliate with them, so I don't know if you get a discount, but if you use my link, um, I do get a little bit of commission. So very much appreciated if you do. Of course, no pressure, it's in the description, but genuinely, I bang on about this stuff so much because I love it dearly. I think they are only in the UK now. They might be trying to expand to the EU, which I think would be awesome if they do, because then more of you would be able to try it. So this isn't sponsored by them. I just wanted to share it because it's really, really good stuff. And I think it's important to share with you the good stuff. So yeah, I'm going to start fertilizing with this today. Exciting. gross so I just watered my ZZ plant and then I was taking out all of the dead leaves because there was quite a lot I don't know the plant is just really unhappy with me and some of the whole like things came out but then I saw this 
how disgusting is that it reminds me of like an overripe banana <laughs> but it is it's so gross um so glad that that's out i probably need to repot that plant but i really don't want that plant anymore so maybe i'll give it to somebody for free as a rescue as long as they pick it up i don't know i feel like that's the best bet because i i haven't wanted that plant i just don't want it so maybe i'll put it on facebook for free that's the easiest thing to do really might have root rot but it's free <laughs> if someone wants to treat it fine i don't so i guess that works that'll be one plant i get rid of i did order some plants because it's march and my plant man is over um i did really well i think i bought two plants the entire time and the only reason i got them was because one of them was a wishless plant and it was from a friend who was like selling their entire collection away so I feel like that's pretty freaking good for six months for someone who's like addicted to buying plants but yeah I got a bunch of plants I will definitely do a haul don't you worry you'll see what I got um but it was like I kind of didn't feel like I needed to massively is that the sign that my addiction is going away like in a positive way like I don't want it to be an addiction I want it to be an enjoyable hobby that I have not an addiction to spending money and plant shopping I don't know it's a good thing I feel I feel pretty good about it but I did get some plants and they're ones that I'm really excited about so I'll show you those when I get them it'll probably be in a week or two at this point so yeah very exciting oh but yeah because I bought new plants and I'm trying to do the one in one out I'm currently at negative two plants right now because I gave four to Claire and I only bought two so I now have to get rid of five more because I bought seven plants so if I get rid of that ZZ Raven and maybe a couple other things that I'm just like really not feeling I'll be at net zero again I I'd be really proud about that if I if I can actually implement the one in one out policy properly throughout this year that would be I feel like that would be a feat I don't know if it's gonna work or not but I will try <laughs> Who knows? So I have finished in here and in the living room, save for the stuff in the top of the Ikea cabinet, which I'm gonna wash and stuff. I'm sorry, my voice just broke. Um, but I think the rest of it I just have to do is in the office. And I can't do that yet because Joe's in there working. So I'll have to wait for lunch break or after his work to do that, maybe tomorrow. But I mean, do you really need to watch me water more stuff? Is it that interesting? I don't know. Do you like it? Do you like watching like watering montages? Let me know down below in the comments because I like watching them on other people's stuff, but I don't know. I, I wanna like I wanna make sure that I'm giving you content that you like. So yeah, let me know. so exciting I knew it was stuck in there properly hopefully I get some new growth at some point because that would be amazing love this one lucky that I haven't had thrips on my hoyas ever. I just feel like they're not the right type of plant for them, if that makes sense. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's what I've noticed.
cleaned off the top shelf. But to be honest, I don't know how much I'm feeling this metal thing anymore because it's coated with like, I think just normal paint. It's gotten like super duper scratched. I really love this. I love the personalization. I think it looks so good. I mean, the person who makes them doesn't do it anymore. So like, I can't get it replaced. I was thinking about getting those like clear acetate shelves for the cabinet. If anyone has experience with those or has some to recommend, let me know. Just because I feel like it makes it look dirty all the time. And like, I like the airflow though, cause then I can just have one fan, which I do right now cause I'm too lazy to buy a second one. Um, but I like the airflow. I love this. I think it's so cute, but uh, it just makes it look messy. I mean, I, I'll keep it until it no longer serves a purpose or if it starts to rust or something, but it's just a shame that it gets all scratched cause I think it looks quite unpleasant like that which is unfortunate but anyways the cabinet is clean now and i think i'm going to start putting stuff away in a bit i might wait for the other stuff to dry first because what if i want to change around where things are so i've got everything here ready to go back in there at some point <laughs> maybe in like an hour or so honestly though i feel like i've done so so much today it's it's been kind of crazy I mean just doing the cabinet on its own is a massive feat so doing that plus like watering and stuff I don't know I just feel like I've done so much which is maybe unfounded but maybe I have so I think I'm not gonna try and push myself and do something again in between this I'll probably edit this video and then once these plants are ready to go back in I will put them in and bring you along with me in that but yeah, I just feel like it, it's, it's quite a lot when you come back from three weeks of being away and you have so many plants and you have so many plant chores. I, I don't think, like there's just still so much more I could do. I've got repotting to do, I've got props to pot up. Like I could probably do an entire week's worth of <laughs> plant chores, but I, I need to pace myself. So maybe there'll be another plant chores video in the next month. Probably. I just feel like I've got so much to do. So I may as well bring you along with me, show you what's going on. But for now, I'm going to take a bit of a break from filming and work on editing and other admin -y bits and get back to you when these plants are dry. So it's been a couple of hours now and I've had to pull out my light box because it's just so dang dark and dismal outside. <sighs> I forgot that the UK this time of year was so gray. Like, oh my god, the weather in India was amazing. It was sunny and hot all the time. And then I've come back here and it's like one degree outside half the time. So, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> it's been a couple hours and my plants are dry. So I think I'm going to put them back. And we can chat while I do that, I guess. Let me just get this one in properly and then I can chat. Yeah, so I literally attach my Warriquianum into the cabinet so it can't fall because I'm scared. It's quite top heavy, the plant. It's like, yeah, and it needs to sit on top of something. Otherwise, these leaves like touch the bottom. So there's that. Um, and I think I have decided for the most part, I'm going to mostly put things back where they came from. Just because it's a bit easier that way. I don't need to worry about anything too much Let's put that back there but the thing I wanted to talk about was I'm thinking about changing up my schedule with filming so basically I have been thinking about it a lot and I want to focus more on things like reels and TikToks and stuff but when I'm posting like three videos a week here on YouTube Although I really enjoy it, it means that I don't really have time in the rest of the week. My entire week is used up by filming and editing and posting three videos a week. And like, it's, it's a lot of work. But I wanna kind of diversify like my content and do some reels and shorts and stuff. So I wanted to chat with y'all about that. I think I might go down to two videos a week on YouTube and then take that extra time that I'm working on my third video 
and work on some short form content. I, I think I would really enjoy that because I do enjoy making TikToks and Reels and stuff. Do y'all watch those though? Because if, if y'all aren't into TikToks and Reels and Shorts on any platform socially, then it doesn't really make sense because I would like to like make y'all happy. Y'all are here first. Y'all are the most important to me. So I don't want to like do anything that you wouldn't like. But at the same time, I think I have to do stuff for me as well. And I think I would enjoy this. So I th think this is my notification to let you know. I don't know. I feel really guilty about changing up my content after I have been doing three videos a week for so long now. And like, especially in like, what was it in December? I was posting every day. And then I guess, I guess I posted two videos a week in February and it, I wasn't doing any worse than normal. And I hope that didn't feel like too little for you. I'm still going to be posting loads of content. And I think in theory, I'll be posting more more content because like more varied content because I'll be posting shorts and stuff as well so that's kind of my rationale behind it and I think it'd be a bit of fun I, I like changing things up I don't want to be doing the same thing over and over again all the time and I think it'll make my YouTube videos more I guess make them like more like prominent that's not the right word for it I don't know what I'm what word I'm looking for like because I was posting so many I had to think of a lot a lot of ideas and so maybe the quality was going down it wasn't as like great as I would want it to be and so if I'm posting less frequently I think I'll be able to better create content for all of y'all because I'll be able to post only like the really really good long YouTube videos that I want and then anything else can be made into like a short form or something like that. So I'm not posting as much random stuff. Does that make sense? I don't know. I, I, like I said, I do feel guilty about this because like this is my job and I need to do my job. But part of my job is doing what you want and part of my job is doing what I want. So it's a bit of a balance that I think I need to make to figure out what, what works best for everybody because like I want this to be all of ours and so yeah it's, it's just there's a lot to think about in it and I don't know I don't know I think I'll have to see in time what works actually I think I'm going to take this one out of the cabinet um my Obavada I talked about it in my um updates video because it's getting like really light green if it'll focus come on it's like very light green and i would love it to be a bit darker green so i will keep it out of the cabinet for now put it somewhere slightly darker and hopefully it'll like that a little bit better how did everything fit in here before just got like so much so much stuff oh also uh, my Splendid Leaf opened up while it was in the shower. I think the humidity and like moisture from being in there really helped it. And I know you're not supposed to do this with them. But I'm just double checking that there's not any pests inside of it. I don't think there are. So that is very good. Um, and that is super exciting. I'm excited to see how that grows. Also, it's got like hella roots i don't know if you can see that look at those they're insane so that is amazing hopefully i can put it back into the mother plant soon i think it would be quite happy with that this place looks so clean as well now because i have literally like washed them and cleaned them all they look so shiny and clean which i really really love i think that's almost everything. There's just one more. Just this one. Yeah, I think 
that looks good. I hope it doesn't bother anyone. I feel like that's the only way. I don't want to disappoint you all. So if you really have something against me switching things up a little bit, let me know. So I think I'm going to keep my Tuesday and my Friday videos and then the Sunday video will be no longer. And yeah, I'll just create some short form content in there instead and maybe do some other random bits and bobs. I've got a lot going on at the minute, which is exciting so much. And like, oh my God, the plant swaps coming up. If you haven't got tickets for that yet, if I don't think they're sold out yet at this point, but if they are, there might be some more coming soon. So keep an eye out. But the, another plant swap is happening on the 16th of April, which is super close. It's like a month and a half away at this point, which is, Oh my god, and we're working really hard to plan it and make sure it is absolutely perfect. And so if you are UK based or London based and you want to come to that, here's the information. I will link our website down below and you can get tickets there. I'm very excited about it. It's gonna be so much fun. You can meet me, we can swap, all that fun stuff. Uh, but yeah, so I just have a lot going on and I think that would make me feel a little bit more well-rounded and less stressed because I feel like I haven't had a normal month since November time. Because I've like all of December, I was creating frantically for plant miss. January, I was planning content for February. February, I wasn't here. So March, I feel like I haven't even had time to like settle back yet. So anyways, I'm gonna get the plants for the top and I think I'll probably just montage that. So let's put on some music and do that. Hey, baby. You wanna say hi? You wanna sneeze instead? Hello, boo boo. Hi. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi. I guess I'm not getting up now. <laughs> I missed you too. plant chores with me or just chilling out and hanging out because it's been an absolute minute at least for me maybe it's not been for you but I really hope you enjoyed it I had fun and I feel a lot better knowing that I have cleaned and watered these things properly just because I'm so nervous about the thrips but I will let you all know and show you how I get on with the adult predatory insect adult thrip predatory insects because I hope they go well. I am still really nervous about them. I've never used anything like that before and so it's going to be a bit of a change for me, but I hope that it goes well and I will definitely be bringing you along with me as I do that. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and leave a comment on other house plenty things you'd like me to talk about in the future and let me know how you feel about my video schedule and stuff down below as well. Thanks, I really appreciate it. User feedback is appreciated. Um, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!